All right, so you finished um, editing all on Final Cut Pro, and when I'm talking about the timeline or sequence, I'm talking about your timeline down here, um, your done project. Now you have to make sure you're completely done before you do these next steps, so make sure you're done. And then here's the next step. Let's go up to File, have that drop down. You're gonna go all the way down to Send To. Click on File, go all the way down not share, not export, you're going to go send to to compressor alright, then you click that and then compressor right there, okay, and then you're going to click on that and compressor will open your setup might look a little different than our setup of compressor when it opens up but basically up to the top uh, left corner it will tell you if compressor is open you should see a window somewhere um, that has the name of your project um, highlighted in blue. It'll be like name, like the project I'm working on is Drive-In Cinema. So you'll see Drive-In Cinema, that's the name. This is what you should see, or Sequence 1 up here. And you should see a picture of the Final Cut Pro slate. Um, okay, immediately find your Settings tab and click on your Settings tab. If you can't find it anywhere, go to... Uh, click on window and then click on settings and then that will open it up so while you're in your once you click on your settings tab go down and find the DVD folder it'll have a folder with the name DVD um, if it's not open click the little arrow and it'll open up all the different selections and different settings of DVDs underneath that so now just scroll down to the fastest quality, fastest encode. Now you can do whatever you want, best quality, fastest, but I don't really see a difference. If you have a nice computer, there's not really a difference. Anyways, so um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick um, DVD fastest encode 90 minutes. If your project is uh, s about 69 minutes or less, you're gonna pick 120 minutes fastest encode DVD. If your project is uh, 79 minutes or less, and then if it's any higher than that, you're gonna pick DVD fastest encode 150 minutes. So if your project's like uh, pretty long, like almost maybe two hours or so, I would suggest pick, I know you would wanna pick the 120, but I would suggest to pick the 150. So figure out um, those settings that I just explained if what applies to your length of project. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick um, the correct DVD fastest encode. You're going to click and drag that over to um, drag in drag settings and destinations here. And you're just going to drop that in right here, just like so. And it should look like that. This should appear. You should see two um, files. A uh, audio file that will probably say Dolby Digital Professional 2.0 and another uh, video file that will say MPEG-2 um, 6.2 megabytes per second or MBPS1 pass and then it'll um, both of them will have the word source inside them. So here's the next step what you do. You're gonna put your um, cursor over the source and you're gonna right click or hold down control and then click if you have an Apple mouse or if you're not set up to right click so you'll hold down control and then click and you'll get the sub menu and then in the sub menu go to destination go to other and click on other and where you're going to look in this menu is you're going to look to where you want to send these copy data files, these um, files are going to help you make your DVD because you need to send them somewhere. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to pick either your Macintosh HD drive or the desktop or if you have an external drive you want to save everything to go to your external drive. And, um, and then with once you figure out what drive or where you want to save it always create a new folder when you're doing this step. So what you're going to do is go down to the bottom corner of the little window here, the browser window, and you're going to click on new folder to create a new folder for these data files. And then once your new folder window opens up, name it whatever the name of your DVD show is. Like for example, I'm doing drive-in cinema. 
So you'll do like your name, where I do drive-in cinema. And then I'll put like something like DVD, just like that. And this folder, and this is important because we're going to come back to this when we actually get to the DVD Studio Pro part. Once you've created your tile, hit create. Once you create it. And what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the bottom of this um, corner of the um, browser window and hit open. And what should happen is right here in your little uh, window where it once said source on your audio file and your MPEG video file, it now should say the name of that new folder you created. If it doesn't say that in both your audio and your video, then you repeat the steps uh, or just undo, go up to file and hit undo, and just redo this process. Now once you've done that, go down to the um, bottom corner here where it says submit to the bottom right of this um, window and click that submit button. And when you click it, it's going to prompt you to hit submit again and just hit that submit button one more time. And then wait and it's going to start processing and you might see this little processing, it'll say compressor processing, audio or video or whatever. Now there's a way so you can kind of see the progress of your compressor through the batch monitor that's up here located on the same window we just clicked submit on. At the very top right there's a button called batch mon monitor. This should automatically open but if it doesn't just go ahead and click on that button that says batch monitor. The batch monitor menu or window should open and over here um, if you don't see any progress or anything happening in the window, click on this computer. And then it's going to show you what's happening, the activity of the process of your compressing. And what it's going to say is the name of your sequence or timeline, or it'll just say sequence 1 or sequence 2 or something like that. But it'll say your name if you named it. And then it'll say next to the name what it, what's happening, and it'll say processing. And then it'll give you an estimated time remaining for the processing. Never believe this time. It's always going to take longer than it says. Once it's done processing, it'll say successful. And once it's done that, now it's the next step is we just need to close all this out and then open DVD Studio Pro.